In this clip, we'll be learning how to use a roto as a mask input. Okay, so what I wanna show you now is what would happen if I only wanted to do, you know, something to my robot, let's say maybe color correct him, but I only wanted to do it in a certain area. How would you go about doing that? Well, on a lot of nodes, there's something called a mask input. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a color correct node here. And you can see when I zoom in, there's this little mask input here. So what I wanna show you is how to use the roto with the mask input. So I'm just gonna add another roto node. And just to kind of quickly show you, we'll just add like a little, you know, let's pretend like, we were wanting to really light up this kind of back part of the robot here. Instead of just this little area, we want to do we want to do a little bit more. So we really want to brighten this up. So what I would do is drop my color correct in here. Again, you know, it's after the robot. And with my color correct, I would go into that gain and, you know, maybe really turn that up. But to make it just happen in this one area, I would come in here, you kind of have to pull this up because if it's if it's like this, you're gonna be grabbing, you know, the maybe grab the wrong part. But I can I can grab it if I have the color code, the color correct node selected. So pull it up here and then simply drag it onto that roto. And you can see that really easily says, okay, we know exactly where we want you to do the color inside of the roto. And then, you know, I could come in and on the roto, maybe add a little bit of a feather, or you can also do inward feather, which is really nice. Cause I find that a lot of times, instead of wanting it to go out, I usually want it to go back the other way. And it, it looks a little more realistic sometimes too. Now there's also, blur nodes in Nuke as well. So if I hit the tab key and I typed in blur, I could put that in between here and then I can start to blur that transition even more, you see? So, you know, that looks really natural and all we've done is just a quick little color correct to turn up the gain right there. Now I could go in and, you know, gain it up even more if I felt like I wanted it to be, you know, just super hot for some reason where we really felt like we were getting some extreme light there. Now this would take a little bit of time to go through and key so that it was, you know, matching up with the robot. But because the robot's not moving, you know, we actually don't really need to add any keys to it. Now you may say, well, what about when we get in with the footage later? Well, that's coming a little bit later and I'll be showing you how to actually get him as a whole to move along with the camera. But first, we're gonna learn about green screens. So join me in the next module where this technique we just learned is going to come into play because we'll be keying a green screen with a little dog that we're going to add with to kind of be on the side of our girl character here. So stick around, we'll be doing that in the next module.